a nice long walk in a shithole in sunny Peter Lee. How can they let places like this get in such a state? Looks like somebody's actually been living here. Instincts. Well, it must be the toilet. Does absolutely pong. I've vlogged this place a few times. I was just uh, thought I'd have a, a walk through when the trees are all green and the foliage covers up a lot of this shite. One day. I suppose I return and there'll be houses built here. God knows when though. Imagine thousands employed here. been a sort of a boiler room. I like the old pipe still there, look at it. It's cool. Not big like. More like a cell. Looks a lot better like uh, in the summer when it's mainly covered up. So these would have been the walkways up there, up the steps, 
into the boiler room. So last March, beginning of the old bat flu season, I started because we were locked in. I uh, vlogged this a few times. Guess what? We'd still have police, ambulances, and we're still going to have a lockdown. We're in June now. Ah, uh, ambulance. Oh, look. Yeah, so we still... We're supposed to be set free soon. Well, the masses were. And... Oh, Boris there decided not yet hungry can fill a football stadium yeah we've had what 70 million vaccinated everybody goes into Wembley has to show proof of COVID vaccinations or COVID free yet they're still won't let many in. But what can you do? Just walk around shit all like this. Just trying to make sure I've got a steady hand. Just had a uh, couple of opioids, like the old opioids. Still seems the same shit here, like, hasn't really been added to it. Got the old fridge. Football still here. Oh, it's like a caravan sink in it. Some... It's like uh, asylum seekers, isn't it? Hey, you've got your bed, you've got your chair. Got your phone for the telly. Even got a cup. Be like uh, the underground pipeline. Some kind of stones here, like. 
surprised they haven't been pilfered. Ah, oh, shit, man. I'm gonna get prickled. I've got me thick bottoms on. I don't wear shorts. I don't want to have a tick. So, yeah, there's pipes have run up here. Oh, you bastard. I've got through. Yeah, so the pipes uh, come through here and up here. The size of that place, man. down there probably could get along them uh, service tunnels I think it's like Bosnia so we come through here and we've got the best art in Peatley Down with this sort of thing. Careful now. He's a do like, isn't he? Although somebody has put a swash sticker on Dougal's head and 88. 88 means Heil Hitler. It's the letter of the alphabet. So. Somebody's racist against Father Ted. Oh dear there. Oh dear there. Clammy dear. So I reckon that's where them tunnels, them pipes come out. Somebody's going to have a good fire there tonight. There's the makings of a good fire. Tires. See? Burnt tires. So that uh, graffiti artist, Dread, isn't it? Yeah, Dread. I wish you watched my, uh, I wish you watched my vlogs because uh, I've got a wall. I'd like them to do. But with me only having a wee channel and hardly vlogging anything now because I really can't be asked. I don't think uh, there's much ch a chance of that. Uh, all this uh, crap's been burnt. 
all the tyres, there was a boat there. So basically, we are recycling, and the youngs are burning tyres and boats and shite and rubber and plastic and fucking asbestos. Some Dyson bits here. Shoes. Jesus. That's what I climbed up. You think I was like doing uh, Everest? I'm so fucked. <sighs> so here we are back in Bosnia. We've got the checkpoint. Nobody checking the point. The old fridge. It's mainly fridge and mattresses now. Must be because they charge people like 40 quid to get rid. So just drive along here, folks. Or your fridge out, or your mattress. Nobody checks up round here. Nobody gives a fuck. Ah, Elmfield Transport, again. Once a thriving haulage business. Which myself and my son worked. I had some good times there. Thing about building over here or living over here it's the factory over there Kukabara. the old chicken factory still stinks so you're going to pay a quarter of a million pound for a house that absolutely reeks from the chicken factory that looks beautiful on camera. Been a lot of tin foil there. I wonder what for. Have they been doing the old heroin? Been shooting up, shooting up, shooting up. Even the crack den's a bit uh, tidy. Very tidy. It's covered with these uh, furry things off the tree. I used to call them pussy willows or something. Really stupid like that. Whoop, you fucker. Mattresses. Burnt mattresses. Asbestos. Cider. That's, that's strong, boy. I thought it was just white lightning down here. Again, asbestos. Look, so the youngs are probably burning asbestos. So if the tabs don't get them, asbestos will. My favourite tree.
This was Northeast training. Start at the lads uh, of plumbing, brick laying, back in the Thatcher years, you know, retrain, manpower schemes, blah blah blah. Come here and be a plumber in six months. Lastra, joiner, electrician. Then you leave, you go to a site, and without being in the union, you couldn't get a job. And of course, the union wouldn't accept lads who's been trained for six months when their lads took three and four years. So, no chance, no way, Jose. That's Horton Crossroads. That's always seat. How come this tyre hasn't been burned? Lads. You need to get your act sorted. That's a huge tire waiting to be burned. Come on now. Get that tire burned. So there's your usual bags of rubbish. Which basically oh eh. Oh hang on a minute, the bin men don't take it to there if your bin's too full. Ah that's right. The bin's got to be like, nice. Your rubbish has got to be sorted. Your milk bottles have got to be washed out. You can't put your recyclables in a black big bin. Your recyclables have to be washed. Put in your bin nice and neat. Of course, the bin men, leave it in the street to blow all over the place. Still in the northeast training here, northern training, whatever. Jesus, I remember like the tin bins, what well, the glazed, galvanized. Galvanized bins. Wildlife don't care do they, about shit. There's the old fence still up there, look. That's the uh, wallpaper factory. Again, I've done in earlier vlogs. I think it was the wallpaper factory or next door. I know, I think it ended up being steadfast. Shout out the steadfast security. Crickets. That bottom end was steadfast. This was definitely the wallpaper factory. I think the last time I was here it was absolutely 
freezing and flooded. Ravens. I sound like a ornithologist. So this was uh, some wee factories. I'm sure this was Germans. Used to make curtains and shit like that. I've got some curtains made here. Just a massive shit hole. That's down there, like, I've got a wave off her. So, here's a look. Pips should be more friendly, shouldn't they? Especially women. Especially towards me. Now you just sound like a pervert. Well, maybe say I am. Maybe I'm not. There she is, look. Off to the crossroads. Look at that, man. Stump your sack of shit. Yeah, so there's your uh, top of the road. <laughs> More bent tyres. The lorry driver pressed his horn. He must want to be filmed skying. Ah, my videos are all unedited, they're just as you see them. I'm just trying to not make them shake so much because, again, with these uh, opioids, you tend to look like you've got Parkinson's. Maybe they have, like, I don't know. I tell you what, my heat hot after uh, that, me cut off. Quite them. What do you? What's uh? I know a flock of crows are called a murder of crows, aren't they? I don't know. Ravens are crows, so I would call them a rabble, a rabble of ravens. Oh wait, you fuck! Shut the gob. So yeah, this was Pete Lee Cabinet Factory where I worked with my old pal John Bartley who I just found out last week was dead. We had some fun times there. Absolutely, just absolute stupidity. We were like Monty Python meets the young ones. And uh, we both grew old disgracefully. Apart from I think he had a family when he was 14. Anyway, rest in peace, John. This is uh, this is the old site of Old Yorden Village, they call it, but it was called Hortun, which was a medieval village, which was here till the 13th century, and they're all disappeared.
Yep, so we've walked through 20th century, 21st century shite and we end up in the 13th century shite so I'm going to say it over and out